now from South Seminole Academy in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good morning, Hurricanes. Happy Friday. I'm Christina. And I'm Karina. It's March 26, 2021. Welcome to South Seminole News. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Let's check in with Angelina for the Daily Report. Good morning, Angelina. Good morning, guys. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 91 degrees. A reminder, if you take any photos of yourself this school year, send them to us at southseminolenews at yahoo.com so that we can put them on the news. Now let's take you to the South Seminole Lounge for the lunch report. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today's lunch special is pulled, pull, pulled pork quesadilla or chicken quesadilla with pinto beans and tortilla chips. All meals include fruit, vegetables, milk, or juice. And now in the lunchroom, Red Apple Dining will offer their new spicy chicken sandwich. Also, be on the lookout this Monday during the news when Mr. Montlake gives you a chance to earn hero points. That's all for today's report. If you or your class would like to record anything here in the South Seminole Lounge for the Friday show, please contact the newsroom. We'll see you next time. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks. You will find more news from the South Seminole Lounge every week on the Friday afternoon show. And now we take you to fabu Fabulous Friday with Miss Mafoos. Hi guys, and welcome to Fabulous Friday. Today I'd like to speak about Roberto Clemente Walker. Roberto Clemente Walker was the youngest ch of seven children. During his childhood, his father worked as a foreman for sugar crops located in the municipality. Roberto became a Puerto Rican professional baseball player, right fielder, who played 18 seasons in Major League Baseball for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1973, becoming both the first Latin American and Caribbean player to be enshrined. Clemente was an all-star for 13 seasons playing in the 15 all-star games. He was the National League Most Valuable Player, Golden Glove Award winner for 12 consecutive seasons. His batting average was over .300 for 13 seasons, and he had 13, 3,000 hits during his major league career. He also was a two-time World Series champion. Clemente was the first Latin American and Caribbean player to win a World Series as a starting position player to receive an NL MVP award and to receive a World Series MVP award. Clemente was involved in charity work in Latin America and Caribbean countries during the off seasons, often delivering baseball equipment and food for those in need. On December 31st of 1972, he died in a plane crash at the age of 38 while en route to deliver aid to earthquake victims in Nicaragua. The following season, the Pirates retired his uniform number 21, and M MLB renamed its annual commissioner's award in his honor. It is now known as the Roberto Clemente Award. It is given to the player who best exemplifies the game of baseball, sportsmanship, community involvement, and the individual's contribution to his team. So you see, anyone can do it, anyone can make it, just like Roberto Clemente as he was young, worked with his father in the field, he also became a professional baseball player known to all those that play baseball and to anyone around the world. Have a fabulous Friday. Bye, guys. Thanks, Miss Mafoos. You can find her segment in all our videos on youtube.com slash South Seminole News. A message from the Latinos in Action Club. They are collecting donations to help children with leukemia. leukemia. If you would like to help, ask your first period teacher if they have a hero basket in their classroom. If they don't, they can contact Ms. Dayrell and they will provide for you. Leukemia is, one of, is the number one 
most diagnosed form of childhood cancer. Please help Latinos in action as they raise awareness for money and for the cause. Hero buckets will be picked up once a, once a week and the first period class with the most donation will get an empanada party. The PBS Academy will be delivering boxes for paper recycling this week. If you would like to like a recycling box, please see Mr. Motley. Boxes will be picked up every Friday. Attention students and teachers, if you would like to order a ba girls basketball court or zip up shooting jacket or balling for cancer shirt, please click this QR code to sign up. We will be donating money to the American Cancer Association and be a hero for leukemia and lymphoma. lymphoma. Orders need to be in by Friday, March 26th. This is an ab absolute last day to place an order. We can accept, we can accept cash or check. Checks need to be made out to South Seminole Academy. All cash must and checks must be given to Coach Ellerby, room 240, to get a receipt. You can also pay online using the QR code. If you have any questions, please let Coach Downey or Coach Ellerby know. A message from the SSA yearbook staff. You can still pre-order your yearbook at www.jostens.com for the price of $40 until April 30th. Well, also, if you take any good photos, send them to SSA yearbook at yahoo.com. If the yearbook staff likes your photos, they may end up in the book. Students, stop by the media center and take a look at the free book section near the front door. New books are added every week and all students are welcome to stop by and take a look. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll tell you about one final chance for picture day. We'll be right back after this. Uno, we are Latinas in Action. Latinas in Action is organized in a fundraising to help people with leukemia. In the classroom that raise more money, we'll have a empanada party. Be a hero. We need you. Donate. Attention 6th and 7th graders, do you have a heart for helping and serving our school community? Then you should consider signing up for our SSA Pit Crew course for next school year. This is a course where you are able to display your leadership skills in various ways by assisting teachers and also helping students in the classroom with different activities. Stop by the front office to come pick up a Pit Crew application today. Completed applications must be submitted to Ms. Kolovi in the guidance office this Friday, March 26th. Come and join the fun. Thank you! Be sure to look for a new segment every day of the week here on South Seminole News. On Monday, we get a special message from our principal, Dr. Coleman, with Mindset Monday with Dr. C. On Tuesday, we have Hurricane Smiles with Miss Parshappy and a new special guest every week. Wednesday gives us Win Win Wednesday with Miss Reed. Thursday is Mertz's MVP with Mr. Mertz and his Student of the Week choice. At the end of the week, we get Fabulous Friday with Miss Mafoos. And as always, look for the Dean's Den with Mr. Fernandez and Miss Pearson on the Friday afternoon show. Look for all of these segments on our page at youtube.com slash news. Thank you. Welcome back. A reminder to parents and students that you may vote on the Teacher of the Month by clicking on this QR code here on the screen. You can pause this video or go to our YouTube page to scan this image. Congratulations to Ms. McAvoy for being this month's winner. My Life Touch is offering one last chance at, the lo at their location to take pictures this school year. No appointment is necessary. Just come down to the studio on Saturday, April 17th from 9 a.m. until noon. The address is at the bottom of the screen. Also, these pictures are not for the yearbook. These are for packages only. Remember to bring your money and order form. Check mylifetouch.com to print out your order. That's all for today. Make sure to check us out on Instagram and YouTube at South Seminole News, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, please like the South Seminole Academy and PTSA Facebook pages for more info. And students, every day here at South Seminole Academy, we strive for success, take responsibility, opt to lead, respect others, and make good choices. Thanks for watching. I'm Christina. And I'm Karina. Have a great weekend, and don't forget to storm.